Hi, this is Quint with Drums on Demand, and I am going to show you how to install one of our uh, sampler drum kits into <clears throat> GarageBand. This is the folder that I've unzipped after I've downloaded my purchase. So let's say I've got the Jazz Latin kit, and there are three things we're going to install. First of all, we're going to install this folder called Jazz Latin Collection Samples. That's going to be step one. Step two is we're going to install these three .exs files into another folder. And finally, we're going to install um, these GarageBand files, or this GarageBand folder, into uh, another place. So there are three steps to this. So I'm going to show you those steps right now. So we're going to install these three folders or files or sets of files into these folders on your computer. So I'm going to go to Home. Uh, under Home, I'm going to go to Library. Under Library, I'm going to go to Application Support. And under ac Application Support, there's a folder called GarageBand. And in there is a folder called Instrument Library. Okay, and that's what that's where we're going to kind of put these things. So the first thing I want to do is drag over my sample files. Okay, so here are my samples right here, the Jazz Latin Collection. If I open this, you'll see I've already installed some others, but I'm going to install this. So I'm going to drag this over into sample files, and you'll see that that's copying over. And while that's copying over, I can actually get the sampler instruments. Okay, and you see I've already, I have some here. Now I'm going to go to my Jazz Latin Instruments, and I'm going to grab the .exs files. These other files are for other formats. So now I'm going to drag this over, and you'll see that that's dragged over. That's very quick. And then finally, in Track Settings, under Software, there's a folder called Drums on Demand. Okay, so if I was installing this, and I will go find that folder under my Jazz Latin kit, go to GarageBand, and I navigate to the same place, Track Settings, Software, Drums on Demand, and if this, my, this was my first install, I would simply drag this, fold this Drums on Demand folder into that software folder, right? But I've already installed uh, some kits from our collection. So instead of dragging the Drums on Demand folder, I'm going to drag over those into the Drums on Demand folder. And those are the three steps. And now I've got GarageBand open, and if I click in my Virtual Instruments area, you'll see we've got a Drums on Demand folder. And in there are all the kits that I've installed, including the jazz kits that I just installed, including the brushes. And the first time you click on it, it'll spin for a second. And the open snare, and as well as the, um, as well as the standard snare. So I've clicked on the standard, the open snare. and I'll go to the standard snare again. And there's our installed kit. Now in this case I'm going to use some, uh, I'm going to add some Groove Monkey jazz loops. So I open up my Groove Monkey jazz DOD folder. I look in supplemental mappings under Groove Monkey jazz general MIDI GM and I'll open the single track folder and that's where I access a variety of different um, feels and grooves. Um, in this case I'm going to open up and dra drag and drop one of the previews. Let's drag this in here. Creates a new um, track on file import and I'll just take it and pop it up here, move it to the front, and we'll see how that... Okay. 
So that's basically how to install Drums On Demand sample kits as well as drag and drop MIDI files from uh, GrooveMonkey. Thanks for listening.